Hi folks, wanted to take a few minutes here and uh, upload this video for you. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about Maslow's four levels of learning, but I also wanted to start using uh, YouTube a little bit throughout the course of this uh, Biblical Counseling course, just to kind of enhance uh, uh, a sense of connection between uh, you and I, and uh, just kind of another, another level of communication. But I like this illustration I have, it's kind of fun um, to communicate Maslow's four levels of learning, which are, as the uh, PowerPoint says, um, the first level is unconsciously incompetent, the second level is consciously incompetent, the third level is consciously competent, and the fourth level is unconsciously competent. Now, it's kind of a tongue twister. I've said it a lot, so I can, you know, do it pretty readily without making too many mistakes. But uh, this illustration that maybe some of you can relate to uh, is a good way to uh, flesh out the idea behind these four levels of learning. And afterwards, I'll make a little bit of an application to biblical counseling and helping people overcome um, sinful behaviors in their life. But my first car was a 1960 Volkswagen, and of course it was a stick shift, and as you can see the photo there, that's not me and that's not my bug, but uh, uh, the, the car was very similar to that. Uh, I dressed a little differently, of course, so... You might be able to appreciate that. Uh, those of you who had a uh, stick shift when you started out and trying to figure out how to use a clutch. But before I got the car, I was so excited. I actually envisioned myself driving around town, giving my friends rides, and just having a real sense of freedom uh, back uh, when, you know, that only a 16-year-old can really appreciate. Um, but the day arrived when uh, I got my 1960 Volkswagen. Of course, it was a little later than that. And uh, very excited, got into the car and uh, attempted to pull out of the driveway, and uh, lo and behold, it lurched and died. Trying to figure out how to use a clutch and a stick shift and the gas all at the same time was very difficult. But what I did there, in terms of Maslow's four levels, uh, it, I was at the first stage when I saw myself driving around town. I was unconsciously incompetent. I was unaware that I was unable to drive. But uh, reality soon came crashing in when I got my VW and tried to back out of the driveway and it stalled because I couldn't figure out how to uh, coordinate between the clutch and the gas. This is the second level. I became very conscious of my incompetence. We begin to know about what we don't know. That's the second level of learning and that's really where learning can start. Once we become aware of what we don't know, that's where learning can start. And so uh, eventually I was able to get it out of the driveway and drive it up and back down the street and so on and get to and from work and school and things like that. But it wasn't, uh, it took a while to figure out how to do it. In fact, every time I would stop and I was on an incline, I was always full of anxiety because trying to start on an incline with a, uh, from a clutch and taking your foot off the gas and starting to roll backwards and wondering who's behind you and if you're going to be able to go without stalling it out, that's... You know, just a lot of anxiety. But nonetheless, I was at the third level of Maslow's levels of learning. I was becoming conscious of my competence. So I was aware of my level of competency. Um, Clint Eastwood has a famous saying, saying, a man's got to know his limitations. Well, I really knew my limitations when it came to driving a stick shift. But it wasn't long before I was able to drive around town and drink a big gulp and eat a burrito and you know carry on conversations with my friends and uh, not really even thinking about working the clutch and the stick and the gas all at the same time and uh, really became very competent and uh, hit his four level, fourth level I was unconsciously competent. I was not even having to think about what I was doing. So there you are. There's the four levels of learning and to make an application to uh, counseling it would be our objective to help counselees as they work through uh, challenges in their lives and, and areas where they are prone to react badly and, and fall into sin. Uh, we want to look at these uh, four levels because a lot of times you'll uh, suggest a, a way to put something off and then put a new behavior on. Uh, and when the counselee goes to do it, it's really awkward and they have to think about it and uh, it doesn't work right or or it just uh, isn't smooth and, and things like that. It, it's this, they're, they're in between the first and the second level of uh, competencies and, and learning. 
Uh, but you want to encourage them that as they employ these new behaviors and, and this notion of putting off the old man and putting on the new man in terms of, of sinful behavior, that it becomes more a part of their lives and they become more comfortable with it, they become more competent with it. And eventually, we hope to help them get to a place where the new behavior is so ingrained in them that it's, uh, they are unconscious of it, that they respond to crisis situations rather than in a sinful old manner, uh, they would respond in a new manner. And this could be applied in several areas like anger or even uh, life-dominating sin, where they would uh, tend to default back to the old behavior and act out their, uh, their feelings or whatever they are in a sinful manner. But when they deliberately and intentionally plan to react in a certain way, and they stay on it, even in spite of failures, that eventually it becomes second nature, and uh, they begin to experience what I would like to call walking in the Spirit as opposed to in the flesh. The Spirit is able to, um, uh, to help the counselee overcome these behaviors as they practice them. Oswald Chambers, my utmost for his highest, he's got this saying that, uh, that goes, uh, in times of crisis, I want my flesh to be my ally and not my enemy. And the idea behind that is, is he wants his flesh to be able to cooperate with him as opposed to working against him. And to cooperate with the spirit is the ultimate goal. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little illustration of Maslow's Four Levels of Learning and picturing me driving around in my 1960 Volkswagen in Riverside, California. And I hope to do a few more of these little videos and, and uh, look forward to reading your posts and your papers. And if you have any questions, please be sure to post in the Q&A forum there uh, where others can see it and benefit from the interaction between you and I. So we'll see you soon. God bless.